What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Codexual and today we're going to be showing you how to encrypt your browser, whether it's Google Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Brave, Opera, uh, so on and so forth. So we're going to be using Wireshark to analyze some data and we're going to go over some protocols. So we're going to be talking about uh, DOH, which stands for DNS over HTTPS. This is the type of protocol that adds extra adds extra layer of security when you're browsing online that helps you hide your internet, your ISP, government, etc. Uh, your standard security is DNS over TLS or DOT for short. The difference between the two is DOT adds a basic TP at TCP. TCP uh, connection, meaning anyone on your local area network or if they have you bugged um, can see any connection. And with the right tools and an RSA key, they can read your data. So I'm going to be using a website and uh, just bear with me. I just want to show this example, then I'll show you how to enable uh, DNS over HTTPS. So um, I'll show you how to enable that after this example. Um, give give a thought here that, uh, or give me the consideration that this is an example and uh, my website is HTTP based, which there is no SSL encryption of any sort. So this means all traffic can be logged. So, but I wanna use that as a prime example and uh, I'll just leave it from here. So what I want to do is uh, we have Wireshark here and we're going to go towards the Ethernet, which is going to log all the traffic on that network adapter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log in. Uh, log me in right now. So that's going to be the username. And the password is going to be password123. Now we're going to go ahead and hit enter and to filter this out to view that traffic we need to go into the HTTP protocol and it's sent out a request to the member.php and if we scroll down in this area right here it will show uh, the key values. So it shows the quick underscore username, which is the value that's coded with the HTML. And it's asking for, hey, what's the username? Which the username is log me in right now. And the password for uh, is uh, password one, two, three. So under no circumstances, you should ever visit a normal HTTP colon slash slash www dot whatever dot com url it is you should ever be on it no matter what so you want to make sure that you know don't don't visit http sites except for mine um you can always change your password i'm just saying that i'm too broke to buy a ssl encryption <laughs> so now let's just say that my website does have ssl encryption then what well what we want to look for is the TLS protocol and we need to look for the packet and let's say we found the right packet. What we need to do is we need to decode it as, um, is it going to be a DNS over TLS or is it going to be a normal HTTPS slash TLS? But if, um, if you don't know, we can put in both values and we're gonna put in the uh, TLS and we're gonna add the port number, which is gonna be the uh, DNS over TLS, which is 853. Then we're gonna hit okay. And we also need the RSA key. So without the RSA key, it's gonna show mumbo jumbo as what's displayed here at the bottom. So this is what you'll see without the RSA key. It's just, just crap. Looks like a child or a cat just smashed your controller or, you know, uh, you what, whatever. The, the point is it's mumbo jumbo. You cannot read all of this. So you need the RSA key. So let's just say you have the RSA key and you're able to decrypt or decode that data. Now you're kind of screwed. So that's the standard security. Now everyone's 
every big company um, is moving towards DNS over HTTPS, which adds a extra layer of security and it will be harder to sniff out that packet and decode anything. So let's show you how to enable that on the browser. I have a website here, um, block, blocked. And if you use Microsoft Edge, um, it'll tell you everything, what you need to do, Firefox, uh, Opera, Google Chrome, Safari. Oh, I guess Safari doesn't have any, sad. So uh, I am using Google Chrome, as you can see. And what we're gonna do is copy this into our address bar. And it, it'll give you these options. Make sure it's enabled, not default, not disabled. You want enabled. And then just restart your browser, restart your computer if you have to. Um, then you'll be good. I'll leave a link in the description down below for this website so you can um, adjust your browser accordingly. Um, uh, last couple of things um, before we uh, end it, I just want to finish off what I wrote. So as for the DOH, the um, it as for DOH again is DNS over HTTPS. Uh, it uses HTTPS, HTTP two and three for sending DNS queries and getting DNS responses over HTTPS. Each DNS query response pair is mapped into an HTTP exchange, meaning it's encrypting the packets of each request using DNS. Uh, the important, um, this is an important distinction because it affects what port is used. DNS over TLS has its own port, so port um, 853, and DNS over HTTPS uses port 443, which is the standard port for HTTPS traffic. Um, while having a dedicated port sounds like uh, it would be an advantage in certain contexts, it actually is quite the opposite. While DNS over HTTPS requests can hide in the rest of can hide in the rest of the encrypted traffic. DNS over TLS requests all use a distinct port where anyone at the network level can easily see them and even block them. Granted, uh, the request itself, it its content or response is encrypted so you wouldn't know what's being requested, but they would know that you were using a DNS over TLS and at very least there's going to be a raised suspicion and it's kind of taking um taking the fifth in the u.s and it leads itself into the per perception you have something to hide and in a lot of countries that's not good perception to have about you so i'm done writing this this is like a little script that i have just to keep me focused um protect your privacy and uh, that's all I really have to say. So I'll, I'm back with more tutorial videos. Check out the other channel, which is Hackshell for ethical hacking, uh, for you know cyber, cyber technology, more educational videos. Uh, be sure to buy my VPN, which is about to play an ad here in the, throughout the video if it hasn't already. Um, follow me on my social media, follow me on my Discord. If you have any questions, ask it on the Discord specifically, because if you see me live streaming and depends on how hefty your question is, I may or may not respond to you or give you the accurate answer or the time that you need. So, uh, or the time to answer that question appropriately. So just come through on the Discord. Discord is uh, where we're going to do tech support only. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care. Protect your privacy and identity. Unlock sensor filters. If you're trying to get to a no-no site or you just want to be anonymous, whatever your reasons are, you can connect to the VPN tunnels within seconds by using private internet access. Links are in the description. It's so low. Like the, the, it, the cost is so low. If you're not able to afford for this, then, you know, you're just broke as just as I am because I'm trying to get affiliates ads going on. Yeah, this is a sponsored video, by the way. Um, VPN features and look at all these great features. Uh, secured VPN account, encrypted Wi-Fi, peer-to-peer -peer support, and so on and so forth. And you can connect to 33 different countries. And there's a lot of servers to go around. Plus, there's a fast download. I use this 
for myself as well when I try to get to those no-no sites. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the continued content, and thank you for the support. Links in the description. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.